Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to quickly glance over No Man's Sky and its new update. It is also on sale and a question to you guys if you guys have played it more recently. I haven't played it in a couple updates, I should rather say, because expansions kind of indicates that the game is, it's, uh, you got to pay for the content, but no, in the case of No Man's Sky, it's all free updates, and that's been one of the beneficial elements of No Man's Sky over the last few years. Hello Games has been dropping all these free updates, and also Outriders has dropped today. I don't think a lot of people that watch my videos were going to drop $60 on it day one unless they were like going to try the game, play it for two hours, see how they like it, and then may probably refund the game or maybe keep it if they end up enjoying it. Well, it's not getting very good reviews on Steam, but if you do look at the community hub, a hub I should say, there are a ton of people playing the game, so it's doing relatively well, you would think, um, but we'll talk about that in just a little bit. No Man's Sky, the Expeditions update has dropped. It was supposed to drop later, I believe but it dropped early. This includes quite a, a batch of new content. Shared expeditions. Each of these events start from a fixed point in the universe, bringing the whole community of travelers together to embark on a shared journey. So that's kind of cool, adding like a little bit more community focus. Milestones and phases. Prog uh, progress through exploration milestones to earn rewards. Meet up with fellow travelers and experiment with new ways of playing No Man's Sky. Target Suite mode, a new extension to the analysis visor. Target Suite brings a new element of exploration gameplay to missions. Use survey techniques and exploration skills to uncover mission destinations. Mission over Overhaul. Core and optional missions have been overhauled to include the target suite mechanic as well as a large number of other improvements. You also have weekend missions. Weekend missions have been re-enabled. These procedurally generated missions unite the community around a common goal and offer a large amount of Quicksilver as a reward. UI and HUD overall has been uh, added as well. A UI and HUD overhaul, I should say. Balance and quality of life changes. Rendezvous points. Uh, exclusive new rewards. Seasons cross save rewards. Bug fixes and performance and even more on top of that. So quite an update for No Man's Sky. Uh, it's 50% off as well for $29.99 right now. Uh, it often goes for this price, but this is a pretty good deal for the game. Let me know if you've played the game over the course of the last few months, because I played it a few updates ago. I didn't play it, obviously I haven't played it since Ex Expeditions, I didn't play the last one, nor do I think I played it the one before that, so we're talking over a year or so. And I had my fun with it, but it's not a game that I was going to sink, you know, north of 100 hours into. I just don't do that with a lot of games. But I don't know. I randomly, like, this update came out, and I got the itch to play No Man's Sky. Uh, so let me know. This on VR as well, insane on uh, PlayStation 4. So that is something to note as well. Pretty trippy experience if you have a VR headset on a PS4 or, you know, a buddy has it, whatever. That's something I think everybody should try out. $30 again on Steam. So outside of that, Outriders is out today. It is seeing mixed reviews on Steam. Not very good. 299 user reviews, 44% positive. So I haven't played the full release. I played the demo and the demo ran perfectly fine for me, but it's looking like based on these reviews initially, people are not fond of the port. Um, which is unfortunate. However, the game is seemingly still doing very well from a uh, commercial standpoint, as there's 110,000 people in game right now. Like, whenever a PC new release gets north of 100,000 people online at once, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't think Persona 4 Golden hit that, although that, that's like an unfair comparison. P4 Golden was like, you know, a $20 re release. We're talking about a big budget new game here, but that's like one off the top of my head that I remember, but north of 100k, just generally speaking, that is a very, very good number to hit. It's not like extraordinary, like that's not, you know, top tier or anything like that. It's not like a Cyberpunk 2077 or anything like that. But it's still a very respectable number. And what I noticed uh, leading into the release of Outriders was there was a high level of interest in the game. Um, you know, it's also on Xbox Game Pass. So if you have an Xbox One, a Xbox Series, you could play it on there. Unfortunately, not on Game Pass PC. Like, I'd be all over this if this was on Game Pass PC. And I'll probably still end up getting it um, in a little bit just to test it and things like that. But $60 is steep. And who knows, it might end up on Game Pass PC in a couple of months. I see a lot of people predicting that, and that would be really, really unfortunate if you drop $60 and then in like two to three months, it's just on Game Pass PC. That's always something you have to think about when you're buying these games now, man. When are they going to end up on a subscription service or how quickly are they going to go on sale? And are you going to be kicking yourself in two to three months? Definitely something to consider. But the initial reception of the game from the Steam reviews, which you always got to take with a grain of salt, mixed reviews, 44% positive, but 
seemingly ton of people playing it right now, and I will probably end up jumping on it as well as a couple of my buddies actually said they're interested in playing the game, so we might jump in on it together. We'll see. Uh, but that's going to wrap up this one. Again, No Man's Sky's Expeditions update has dropped 50% off for $29.99. Outriders out today, 110,000 people playing the game, so that is a pretty, pretty high number. We'll see the longevity of the game, man, because this game is all about longevity. We've seen games come out you know, they are doing gangbuster numbers for a couple of days, for a week, and then they just fall off the mountain cliff. But for a game like this, you really need that sustainability. You really need that community behind the game. So we'll see if that does persist for the foreseeable future. And even with this one, Outriders isn't really... Um, it's not going to be as important for it to have a large number of players because it is a co-op game, but you would still want a sustainable user base just to indicate that people are, you know, into the game because this is a game that you would think is going to thrive on on longevity for quite a while. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.